gentlemen, we've made it today. And, and it's, um, you know, it's interesting. The, the notion I would be excited for a day mm -hmm. was just not something that ever I ever had figured I would in my life. But I mean, Monday really does it. Exactly. Just one of the many wonders of Mutants and Masterminds Monday is it gives you a reason to look forward to Monday. That's right. Yeah. And we hang out with you and um, talk about those, talk about updates, talk about news. And, and um, we get to talk to two of the coolest people that I know on this planet. Uh, and I'm not really super knowledgeable on people and beings from other planets. You've got Alex Thomas, Steve Kenson, and I am your disembodied pal, Troy. The chat says, hello. Hope says I gotta stop showing up early. Y'all scare me every time you go, oh, that's you know what next time I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go, boo. <laughs> when we right. start next up. Time, next time Troy is just gonna scream when we go live. I am indeed. Hell out of me. RC says hello to all the many free Ronins out there. Oh, free Ronins, I like that. Kind of makes me feel like, um, all right, you're trying way too hard, future pop. Jeez. Uh, it's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounds like some kind of free range, um, you know, or where the mm -hmm. uh, TTRPG gamers um, go to relax uh, upstate mm -hmm. at the farm. Um, I like Sean. free radicals, but with more combat skills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And we're all played by Keanu Reeves. Right. That's right. That's right. Uh, a pook. Uh, I'm just writing down a note about a uh, astonishing adventure based on Troy getting beat up by the music robot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what's funny about that is if folks, you know, we may uh, provide an opportunity for people to hang out just for the uh, maybe it's a prize or something and get a uh, B in the studio and listen to the conversation that we have before we go live. It's often hmm, educational. Prize. <laughs> yeah. Punishment, of which, prize, <laughs> prize. Um, let's see. I wanted to do this. Oh, I'm sharing too many things. Um, oh no! It's always I know. been a problem, Troy. Oh, I believe um, the. Uh, <laughs> I do. <laughs> I share. Uh, you know, there's a there's a thing going on. Someone's doing, and uh, and it's my I'll show you that thing. Thing. Right. Oh, that's our. Like, yes, that thing. <laughs> that was like, what, thing? Like, what thing? I don't know it could be anything really. Um, uh, that's great. Uh, is because, and I'm gonna will do my level best because I know it's not fair to, hmm. you know, lead people in uh, uh, in saying anything about I don't, gravy related mammal. Um, but. Um, just an early alert, uh, the pen was grabbed. Uh, Alex grabbed the pen. So, mm -hmm. oh, sh I forgot something else, friends. I have COVID. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, so, who knows what you're going to get? It's going to be, and so, you know, my commitment is such, you know, why not get live a stream when you're, um, you know, delirious and uh, raving mad? So what could go wrong? Claude, Mumamo jump scare. That's what we're going to do for you, uh, Apuk. Um, good Mumamo unto you. I want to say hello to Warden Maximus. AJ's here. Calvin, you are here. I see you. Um, I, I am. I'm suddenly well. Claude says, "Become well." Mm -hmm. That question I wanted. It's just sort of a housekeeping thing. I am always a little delirious. <laughs> Nicole says, Man, "Are you not a wrong. little?" Yeah, no. Um, but this is a less fun delirious. I don't know that any of it's fun for anyone, but it's fun for me. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, uh, gentlemen, I, I wanted to take a poll, um, just a, a, a private meeting between the, the three of us. Uh, and I want to mm -hmm. talk about chat. Um, so uh, while they're not looking, um, what would you think if, or what's your comfort us at some point in time, maybe rolling the chat window into this, you know, so people can kind of see it as we go along. Um, it means sharing some screen real estate, but sure. I don't know. Kind of like the idea. They seem to behave as most of the time. I am yeah. happy to share my screen time with uh, the people who keep me employed. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. So I'm not quite ready for it uh, emotionally or spiritually. 
But um, let's say next to memo, we are just going to roll that chat right onto the screen, have a little space for that. They're going to sit with us like they're part of the show. I mean, as if they weren't already, but uh, good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, as long I'll as it doesn't scroll like a CNN ticker tape, I will be, that will be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah. Yeah. We won't do that. Um, and, uh, yeah. And that's the other thing too, is that, um, it will, uh, it, it will encourage shenanigan. Um, some shenanigans mm-hmm. we love and some Might. we don't. Yeah. So, so We're brace yourselves. Chat behave. I yeah, trust exactly. our chat. Our chat's delightful. They are delightful. And, uh, we do kind of have this, this game of, uh, of, you know, sort of teasing each other, having fun. And, and I feel like people might miss that sometimes. And so I like to have it up. Um, so yeah, I'm glad we're doing that. Uh, or anon you missed, um, not much. We talked about bingo. I have COVID. We're going to add the chat to the screen. And now we're going to talk about the subject at hand. You're caught up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Troy, check your Wi-Fi is a little sus. Yeah. It has been sus for uh, a bit this morning. Um, Thank you for letting me know. You may lose me. If so, go on without me. Uh, hold on one second. Let's do this. Why is isn't it sharing? Um, so yeah, we're talking. Okay, what is free Ron, the, the free Ronin.com? What is that? And why should people care? Well, free Ronin is the official green Ronin index of free product support files. <laughs> nicely done right um i wrote yeah, i read it so off that, the website it's over here <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, mm, i like it i like it um so here we go here's so it is a library of free downloadables um of really kind of all of our stuff you can see we've got just press stuff fifth edition all our fifth edition free, free stuff mm-hmm. the expanse modern age on and on we go to mutants and masterminds which has several different categories um, of course, we have Settles for Earth Prime. That's a different, but a related product than first edition stuff. Mm-hmm. That's a ton of stuff. Second edition. That's also a ton of stuff. Right. Um, and oops, sorry. I'm going crazy. Uh, and then third edition, which is, we're going to focus on third edition stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, that being the current edition and all, folks who are interested in the the historical artifacts of uh, second and first edition on Freerunia, yeah. welcome to check out those files. Absolutely. And uh, you know what's funny? Um, Claude says, one of the coolest Free Ronin uh, PDFs is the Terminus Probot from the cover of Gadget Guides. Uh, we did, that's, we pulled right? that up, actually. We were talking yeah. about that, actually. We sure were. Uh, here it is. Squire, you are one hundred percent correct. By the way, that that uh, Free Ronin maintains a very uh, mid to late nineties aesthetic hmm. uh, in its style. It does indeed. Um, I'm actually going to do it like this. There we go. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's that not it. That's Rocky. What have I done? Um, yeah. Um, also, you know, uh, top of the I'm, top of the list now. Top of the no, nope, it's no. at the top. It was at the top of the list at that at the exact moment. I, I said it was get at the top it. Of the list. <laughs> there was there's, there's the PDF. No, <laughs> kid robot. Wait, it. Okay, hold on. I'm Scroll sorry. Down. Why am I having such a <laughs> Sentinels Terminus Probot? The, the then five, there. there it is. Um, why <laughs> can't I, I'm having an absolute <laughs> meltdown. Okay, so there there's the Terminus the Probot there. Then five down or so. There it is. Good lord. Uh, my apologies right um, technology is hard it is so mm-hmm. uh uh nate says okay so is this in response to uh, the open game license issues of recent trend a uh, recent sorry recent trending issues uh i know right nicole i'm just just having a lot of fun um so no, really, this is uh, uh, in response to. There's a lot of free stuff here that I didn't know about. Um, but uh, you know, with that having been said, Alex, do you want to touch on that topic real quick and sort of just sort of speak to it so that we can, yeah, gird so our loins and yeah, sort of put yeah. that to bed, I guess, for the moment. Um, with uh, Wizards reversal of things, saying that they are they're going to leave the OGL alone. Um, Eminem is completely in the clear, so we are free to take our time to figure out our path forward. Mm-hmm. Um, we Indeed. are still 
figuring out what we're going to do uh, as far as the licensing is concerned. But we are, um, I do want everybody to know that if you are making M&M, super powered by M&M products, you are safe to continue to do so. So if you have been waiting to hear from us, um, please continue to make your third party content. Uh, we fully support it. We, um, M&M is safe. Um, and any version of a new license for M&M will include a super powered by M&M uh, extension. Whether mm-hmm. it's we continue with OGL, we go with the ORC, we go our own separate way. It just sort of dep- we're we're making the best decision for everybody. Yeah, but at least now nice. we're not doing it under the gun. Yes, right. Awesome. Well said, Alex. Thank you so much. And we'll. Uh, I'm also planning on snipping that and uh, sharing it through some of our you know some of the short form um, social media places. So thank you for that. Um, Let's see. Uh, old campaign says I came in literally just to hear that right there as I'm working on a video based on mutants and masterminds. Nice. Well, old campaign, okay. please send it to us when you're done with it so we can yeah. share it. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And if you've got a, um, if you're going to share that through, like, say, your YouTube or um, uh, an associated YouTube channel, let us know and we'll follow that and be friends. Um, Pope says, wonderful. I'll keep working on my seven part adventure module, The Infinigravy Wars. Nice, <laughs> nice. It's nice to know that kind of work will continue. Are there seven? Yeah. Are there seven kinds <laughs> of gravies? I, I don't want to know. Never mind. I don't know. Never mind. Ah, uh, that does sort of ask. That begs a few questions, right? Yeah. yeah. There's space gravy and soul gravy and reality gravy and time no. reality. Right. I want some reality gravy. Oh. Uh. Um, let's see. Uh, David asks, uh, any likelihood of icons materials landing there as well? Not a lot of likelihood. Um, I do have some icons downloads on my website, uh, stevekenson.com, but um, there isn't a ton of icons uh, freebies that aren't already bundled in with the uh, assembled edition download. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying not to laugh during. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> during your explanation because this is important for folks to know that you know this is that's your work um and then rc pops up with pope i'll send you the draft for end gravy mm-hmm. aye, aye, aye. um okay too much gravy talk so you so terminus probot um what yeah. is that uh so the the terminus probot um basically came out of um oh, the, right. we got the cover for gadget guide uh, and uh, Hal commissioned the design. And I want to say that the art notes basically just said, hey, have these heroes, you know, fighting a giant robot um, sort of a thing. Um, I do love that it's a Sentinels Freedom League team up. Right? That was deliberate, That's, actually. And we wanted to cool. get a bunch of tech themed heroes together mm-hmm. to, you know, fight a giant technological threat. Uh, and we just liked the the cover design uh, so much, the the image of it. We were like, we should like, you know, give stats to it. <laughs> um, and so we ended up. Uh, I ended up writing up a a backstory about it being a you know a, you know incursion robot from the terminus, and uh, we wrote up all of its stats. And you can see it's it's PL twelve, so I mean it's a pretty hefty threat. Um, and we uh, just you know put it together in a um, a short PDF and uh, used it as a uh, a promo for Gadget Guides when it was first released. That is awesome. That art is incredible. Right. My only art note is that Daedalus should be in its hand captured. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that might be my own thing. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. I'm sharing a link to a direct link to that just because folks are going to want to grab it. Um, but one of the things that I <laughs> listen, chat's really trying to get me today. They're really, mm-hmm. they're really trying me. Um, but uh, let's see. I believe. Well, you know, this is great. I, I was uh, heartened to hear from RC that um, uh, that he used this library to send the quick start to um, a new player. Mm-hmm. That's great. A great oh, resource. Nice. You know, one of the things I'd be interested in hearing as well is um, usability or, or that kind of stuff. But um, what are the things that you like the most that you, you know, and if you haven't really checked out free warning or, and shared it with anybody, um, you know, check it out and, and let us know if there's something else that you'd like in there um, that kind of help 
uh, help you make the case for mutants and masterminds. Yeah, um, at, and all of our other titles too. Look at the chat. It seems like some folks have already gotten some use out of the the probot in their own campaigns too. So it does make a that great awesome. sort of terminus herald kind mm -hmm. of uh, threat that tells the heroes yeah. that that uh, more trouble is on the way. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. I love Probot, that. Probot, a bunch of Omega drones, you're good to go. Yep, indeed. So the naming convention, Probot, mm -hmm. it's, what does... It's a portmanteau of probe and robot. Uh, that's what I thought, okay. The, the robots are, are basically uh, sort of launched out of, from the Terminus to find other realities for the Terminus to invade and consume. Gotcha. Okay, good. Thank you for um, entertaining my question. Um, let's pull this back up. Uh, let's see. What else did we want to Claude pull says it's, it's actually short for probiotic robot, which is... <laughs> That's what I thought. Another yeah. really disturbing kind of robot that we don't have stats for. I'm just really concerned about my gut health and would like to have that discussion with the Mutants and Masterminds chat. I just <laughs> want to know how big the thing it's going into if it's helping something stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it's yeah. that size. The probiotic yeah. robot is actually microscopic. Mm. Right. Or at least you anti hope it is. Antiprobotic. Antiprobotic. I like that. Professional robesling. I do <laughs> like the um, the Supernatural Handbook WTF that I found out today. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You, you did find that. And <laughs> since I'm so good at finding things just on the fly, um, let me... It's up a little bit. Uh, it's up a little bit. <laughs> You know, this makes for a good live stream. Is right. it uh, yeah, a little bit? This is some quality <laughs> TV, is what we're talking about. Middle of it. Just it's right in the middle of the screen right now. Uh, it's down, the, down two. There we go. Wow. Yeah. Where, uh, Alex, where Alex was like, "Why is this file labeled WTF?" Oh. <clears throat> Give peace a chance. Okay, this is, yeah, I guess it sort of does embody uh, the WTF of the what? what that the sign friend. is ironic because this thing wakes up and chooses violence every day. Yeah. Yeah. What the heck is this? That's so, this is one of the monster archetypes from uh, the uh, Supernatural Handbook. Uh, and in true Lucian Solbon fashion, um, when Luce wrote, wrote this up, he, he sent it to us with the, the title, the, the name of this archetype is WTF. It's beautiful. Um, lovely smile. Uh, yes, beautiful yes. eyes. Lot, lovely smiles. Lots I of mean, them, too. <laughs> I hate that it has summoned body parts as a power. <laughs> right? I think you're supposed to hate that. Oh, that is a, uh, yeah, let's see, S suffocation, sure, um, separation as a power? Mm-hmm. Yikes. Mo yeah. Okay, so it's basically it's like, uh, yeah, here's yeah. my eyeball yeah. it running after you or whatever. Ooh. Well, power I imagine the eyeball would roll rather than mm -hmm. Oh, here's a, this is beautiful, a possible complication. So WTF must consume people to and incorporate them into its body in order to use expansion or separation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It this feels a little bit like an artistic representation of of chat. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sign would say something different if it were chat, but yeah, that is true. It would be something gravy related. I suppose. I suppose. Yeah, I oppose. It, I suppose. <laughs> the sign would say, "Are you guys um, going to do Mass Effect or not?" Oh, no, no. <laughs> Long chat. <laughs> Yeah, wrong right, chat. Right. Um, awesome. Uh, okay, so uh, rather than have me fumble while we mumble, um, I want to... Uh, what uh, do we want to look at next? Um, the... Um, I think the Monster Mash adventure is a cool little one to pull yeah. up. Yeah. Great thing to point out to folks. There are a couple of free adventures on uh, Free Ronin. Oh no, <laughs> Nicole called me Alexander. I'm in trouble. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you reset the counter. I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you know, normally it's me that gets that. Uh, yeah, usually it's Troy Tholomew. It's not Alexander. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I heard, I hear the tone and the text sometimes, and I'm like, yep, I'm in trubs. All right, one sec. I'm pulling that up. Hey, cool. 
All right, what's the story here? So this adventure is about a washed up magician slash ghost hunter who is trying to bring a spirit into one of his performances to revitalize his career. And he has just enough magic to do it wrong. Right. Perfect. What could possibly go wrong with that plan? <laughs> I love it. Uh, right. So it consists of get the adventure summary, laugh at the reaper. Love that. Um, makes this adventure makes some great use of uh, the silver screen uh, and uh, Madame Macabre, two of our favorite creepy uh, supervillains. Love it. That's fun. Yeah, and it's just a, it's a nice little one shot that you can use um, if you need like an like a side mission for one of your characters, or if you have a character in your party who's particularly mystical in nature and your player has been like, I want to show a normie that magic's not something you should play with. This is fun. I like that. Uh, you know, and I can imagine the scenario of the inviting, you know, if you're doing a Halloween get together, get together mm -hmm. and play, um, uh, or, you know, honestly, if you're like me, anytime is creepy time. Um, Alexander Troitholomew and Steve Alaris. Steve Alaris. Alaris. Steve Hilarious. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alex. Alex, I really do appreciate all of the uh, help you are affording me today. <laughs> I got your back. <laughs> You're like up, up a little bit, down, down a little bit. Uh, oh, also, little bit my pronunciator guide. So. It's okay. I remember when you gave me COVID at Gen Con. It's fine. No, sir. <laughs> that my, uh, we've, we've, uh, I've talked to scientists and they said it was you. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's fair. Um, yeah, it's just science. Um, I don't know if I believe it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so awesome. Um, what else do we've got here? So uh, I'm wondering what is the. I looked at it and then I promptly lost my spot, as I like to do. Um, mm -hmm. So the the threat report to Lona dot zip. Um, I'm, I'm looking. We're about, that's 2014. We're talking yeah. some classic stuff. Indeed. What is uh, that? That uh, most of the threat report ones, uh, Cyber Tribe is in a zip file, so you can uh, you can take a look at that one without having to download it. Nice and open um, it up, yeah, yeah. Uh, but these are just some excerpts from the from the threat report series uh -huh. uh, that give people some fun previews of the kind of stuff that's in that book, uh, so far as it goes. You know, even way back to 2014, we were laying things out just with some real style and. I mean, it's just beautiful. This is such a such a well done. Um, a good question. What is the newest stuff? Let's uh, let's take a look. There's an adventure from 2019, at the very bottom. Nothing to fear. Yeah, I think that and the Basic Heroes Handbook stuff um, is some of the newest stuff. I see. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, at first, I thought we had kind of ordered these, so yeah, we we can probably do a little work uh, making it easier to find. Um, but I'm seeing the 2019, see 2018 stuff. So 2021. Here we go. This is the oh, it's the superpower by Eminem logo. Yay! Legal uh, documentation. Yay! Ooh. Fun. Um, Who doesn't love that? There's a license. Yeah. There's the the do. The, the, yeah. Yeah. Nothing to fear. Um, fun. You know, this is. Uh, did we talk about where did it go? What is this uh, power profiles mental powers sample? So that is pretty much exactly what it says on the, the label. It is a sample of the mental powers chapter from Power Profiles. Oh my gosh! Look at that art. That is, great. I know, right? I think that's um, Sean Isaacs actually. I love working with Sean Isaacs. He's so good. I wish we could still work with Sean. <laughs> Me <laughs> too. He is like a legit DC artist now and, you know, is doing things like illustrating Green Arrow. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it doesn't get to, you know, we don't, we don't get to hang out with him anymore. Made the big time. Um, yep. We'll always have Arctic Fox, Sean. <laughs> he is a, we'll always have an excellent Fox. artist. So, yeah. I dig that. Um, um and for, for folks who are interested in the, you know, the archaeology of, of Free Ronin, um, there is a uh, M&M second to third edition conversion guide uh, buried somewhere down around the bottom of that list uh, that uh, folks uh, can definitely use to uh, convert some of the second edition files uh, that are on Free Ronin or from there second edition products, PDFs, what have you, 
uh, to do uh, third edition stuff if they want. You know, it's so You're funny, right? Steve and Alex. Um, everybody uh, mentions this. It comes up all the time that folks are like, we really need to do a comic book Kickstarter or a backer kit. <laughs> Every time it comes up, I can hear some of the staff like sort of slowly lose a bit of their life force. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I would love to do some Eminem comic book stuff. Um, we've got to get our other stuff in order before we can even think about doing that, though. Yeah, right, right, right. But it's fun to think about, friends. So I get it. I get why you go there, chat. But yeah. uh, it is. Yeah. 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 Uh, so many great are, characters. Comics are a big, expensive undertaking for companies that do nothing but publish comics. Much less right. us. Um, yeah, you know, Nate, you are doing a phenomenal job of keeping me on track. But I, yeah, we we do have a, a backer kit going right now, which is uh, for the um, fifth season, and it's doing very well. Um, Indeed, folks need to check that out. Of course, based on uh, N.K. Jemison's Broken Earth trilogy, and uh, I think the word is gangbusters. Yeah, I hope. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's doing well. Um, Claude Bowman hey, could carry his own solo title, but then you wouldn't get the Bowman Brigade. Right. <laughs> so true. You know, so speaking of um, bows and men, um, you have an actual play coming up, don't you? I do. It's a yes. week from... It's this Saturday. It is oh, this I should get Saturday. Ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> don't listen to him. He's been getting ready. Uh, also, um, Alex, you're one of those people who can sit down and just run uh, a, a Mutants and Masterminds adventure just from your mind. I know, um, but I try not to do that because I value our people's time so much. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, yeah, so the way this works, it is this Saturday. Um, Claude, I was going to ask you where you are um, and why I don't see you uh, right here. signed up. Uh, no, he's right there, but I don't see him over here. Um, uh, there's a sign up going on and we've got one spot left and, uh, you know, that of course sign up is happening at, uh, Ooh, look at that. Pretty. Um, that of course is happening over at our Patreon for mutants and masterminds, which you can find at patreon.com slash mutants, a N D masterminds. Right now we have, um, we've got, uh, Oh, we've got David Bodie. We've got Horatio. Uh, we've got uh, we've got Sean Dugan. We've got Sean Vieira. Um, we wow. have folk with for Sean's. Yeah, yeah, and uh, RC, you're on that list as well. And um, yeah, we we have a couple Sean's, and uh, you know, we said the spot is for. Do we say five? We can, we could do six if we have if if there's enough interest. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Uh, then yeah, Alex, we've got I can always them. add another player, Tom. Let's just do twelve. It'll be fine. Right? It's fine. Thank you, Nate. Is doing all the good stuff. Um, here's a question. You know how WotC is releasing their back catalog via print on demand on Drive Through RPG? Any chance of Eminem's first edition seeing that? You know, we've talked about this before, mm -hmm. Jason. Do other you want to talk about the the whole layout? Yeah, I mean, is there a chance? Yes, the chance is not zero. Um, but uh, the the primary issue um, is that uh, there needs to be some slight layout uh, adjustments uh, in order for books that were originally designed for offset printing uh, to be uh, released via the print on demand setup that we have through Drive Through RPG. Um, and so it's largely an issue of, of um, work hours uh, in terms of whether we can task our production department, uh, which is basically how um, to do the necessary work to adjust old out of print titles to make them available from print on demand. We've done it for a few of our other non Mutants and Masterminds books, uh, like the True 20 titles because that was easier because they were simple print black and white products uh, because the M&M books are full color layouts and a little bit more involved. Uh, it is definitely a, a, a task. Uh, and unfortunately for us, uh, the third edition books are an, an odd size that uh, drive through doesn't do in print on demand. Well, here's and the good news. We, we are working with, Drive through, and they're creating some technology, some support mm -hmm. that might be able to just zip that right through without a, uh, a you know, yeah. So Indeed. we're we're holding out for that stuff, but uh, 
not our first request, but certainly worth uh, addressing again. So folks. Sean, that is a worthy idea, but I think that you have clearly gotten far more work out of interns than we ever have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, what's this? Uh, oh, you know what? Pope says, I, I didn't know that um, uh, Drive the RPG did. Um, yeah. And it's, I got to tell you, I, great. you know, they're great. And there was a day when you would get something print on demand and you'd be like, what is this? It's not like it's, it was not the best, but now it is, it's hard to clock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I print love on demand has gotten really good. Jason says, I'm not going to lie. I want a hard copy of first edition so much that I'd volunteer to do the work to make it happen. Um, was that a thin, was that a hardback? Uh, the first the, edition? Yeah. No, it was hardcover. Yeah, it was hardcover. It was hardcover. Yeah, yeah not. Gotcha. David said uh, it's uh, improved a lot since I ran Lace and, since I ran Lace and Steel. Um, yeah, it, it, I'm not familiar with that. Is that a? It's uh, another RPG. Ah, cool. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Um, nice. Oh, swashbuckling. I love mm -hmm. my buckle swashed. Right. They're the best kinds of buckles. Um, yeah. The reason I ask is uh, about whether it was hardcover or not. Because I have some early. Mutants and Masterminds stuff that I had bought a long time ago when it first launched when mm -hmm. I was working in video games and it just and my buddy Chris and Nicole buddies were you know doing some tabletop stuff and so I bought that right. and then uh, and then could never find other heroes to join me so little did I know. Um, now Jay says, that, <laughs> right. Yeah, look at look at me now, disembodied, hanging out with all the heroes. Um, so that is the um, casting calls up uh, for folks who are on the Patreon. For folks who are not on the Patreon, get yourself onto the Patreon and check yeah. it out. I'll be um, releasing which um, bow people are going to be options uh, either tonight or tomorrow, depending on depending on when I hit my final cutoffs. <laughs> and you're wearing cutoffs right now, um, denim cutoffs, which is great. I mm -hmm. like it. It's a, it's a good look. Um, mm -hmm. But what's funny about that is um, I thought you said no Bowman. Um, so I have tagged our, our info that says basically no Bowman here, not Bowman. <laughs> but I guess maybe I made a mistake. Um, sorry, friends, a little clerical error. Um, yeah. So the free Ronin archive covers all of our titles and all of our um, mm -hmm. uh, good stuff and um, rather than click through every single one um, one of the things that I'd be interested in is uh, ways that you would see um, us utilize that a little bit more friends in chat and um, you know that's a great discussion but uh, the other thing is um, what do we have hold on one second I'm pulling up our patreon again uh, who's coming up next in our patreon um, uh, Listen to me. I'm losing my mind I, actively. Our conversions um, from versions. Noir? That's the one. Noir. That's what I'm looking for. Yes. Our next conversions for Noir are... Oh, please check in my M&M schedule. Right. <laughs> um, I just like the spreadsheets. It's a good spreadsheet. Right? I don't usually like spreadsheets, but I've, uh, I've started taking medication and it's been helping me. Nice. <laughs> um, we have uh, Labette Noir, the Black Bowman, and Bolt are all laid out, fun. and we are in the process of laying out uh, the next batch of three: Dead Man's Hand, Kuang, and Lady Banshee. Love it. Cool. Okay, well that that means that they'll be arriving uh, to the Patreon very very soon. Oh my gosh! Pope says, "Don't you mean the next versions Noir?" No, are oh my gosh, sacrilege! Spreadsheets are the best, says Jay Gray. You know, you, you gotta have folks that love that just mm -hmm. were born loving spreadsheets. That is Indeed. not me, my friend. Uh, um, I have gotten, I have come to appreciate them, but uh, it was not. Yeah, always me my, too. Uh, not always the case for me. I I always used to make fun of them, say spreadsheet nerd, but I mean, of course, <laughs> I'm a nerd myself. Um, and when I figured that out, I was like, hmm. Oh, it's so nice I could be able to join this club. I hope it works out. But. Oh, yeah, shoot. One second, I'm pulling our library back up. Um, so, uh, gentlemen, as you're looking through the list there, what are some other uh, <laughs> things that we can chat about or talk about? Oh, well, Corey was asking when we are done converting all of these various things on the Patreon, if we're going to release uh, PDFs or collections of that material. And that is something we've talked about. Yeah. 
Is that something that folks would be interested in? A compiled collection of all that stuff or, yeah. um, yeah, we have also talked about making sure that some of that was available uh, to the VTT community as well. Uh, yes. Indeed. I'll run the whole adventure again for Claude. That's fine. I can do that. Yeah, just for Claude. <laughs> I love that. Mm -hmm. uh, David Bowdy was saying, you know, there are 12 arrows um, to a quiver, so we'll mm -hmm. need 12 players. It's so, not the most I've done. Go for it. What is the most? What, what is the Alex most is uh, number? Of people Come at I me. know, right? <laughs> um, exactly. I think twenty is the most I've done. To be honest, I think I've run a game no of twenty at one table. Yeah, one table. It was a Justice League versus Avengers game that I ran at a convention. So I ran it for all strangers too. So that was fun. Um, let's see. Here's a question, Steve. Didn't you and or the team used to have a blog series on the M and M site before it was cons uh, consolidated to GR site? Is mm -hmm. that where a lot of the free roaming content comes from? Uh, some of it, um, and uh, I'll, some of it was posted there as uh, previews and the like. Yeah, Pope Pope says um, twenty players. I die. I'm not sure. I'm trying to imagine how you would manage that. The cool thing was it was a PvP event, so they mostly got to play with each other, and I just sort of had to watch, which was okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, we are doing uh, a twenty five player situation at Origins this year, but that's going to be five tables, five GMs, and then it's going to get mashed up at the end. Oh, I love mm -hmm. that. Love it. Uh, three tables, four before before. That's great. Um, trying to think, have many, uh, trying to think how many were at that task force game at Dundracon. Dundracon, mm -hmm. says David. I don't. What's Dundracon? Uh, Dundracon's a, a long time game convention in the San Francisco Bay Area. Oh, I gotcha. Um, yeah, I can't wait to to kind of see how the. Um, would you say twenty five? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be pretty yeah. nuts. It's going to be nuts, and so you're you're going to have separate tables, and they're going to be running. There, there'll be a GM there, sort of a mm -hmm. a, um, mm -hmm. a you know sort of mini GM or whatever, uh, which is actually just a smaller version of yourself. Um, right. And then, <laughs> so then, I can't wait to the mechanism of that just is super super fascinating. Um, Nicole says free run and start out as a place uh, to park freebies. We announced on the website before there were all the fancy tools we have access to nowadays. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and that's that's the thing that you get. I mean, when you work with a long time storied um, uh, uh, entity, sometimes you have to go to the dusty parts and uh, and see what's down there. Um, and uh, some, you know, it's uh, uh, some of my favorite stuff is to kind of go to the library section and look at the oldest books that they've got, and uh, it's all historical fun stuff. But um, Could be yeah, cool here, to put here, um, some of our um, like villain and minion rules on free Ronin. Indeed. Oh yeah. Idea. I like that. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to get into that 25 player game. Says Warden Maximus. Nice. You I should. like that. I think. Uh, I think Origins event registration is coming up pretty soon. It's in March, I think. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Pope says 25. Break the broom back out. <laughs> uh, Pope is trying to encourage you to. I don't know. Use a broom as a weapon while you are uh, mm -hmm. uh, GMing. Um, <laughs> And I say, why not? This is the why talking not? stick. Only the person holding the broom can speak. <laughs> right. That's right. All right. Um, and have we kind of covered everything that, because we can just riff. Um, mm. I'm happy to do that. I just live. I live for the riff. Um, let's well, see. Nate Rob says, oh, sorry. Go ahead, Steve. Well, Troy, I was going to say, I imagine we want to let folks know that if uh, they have ideas for free Ronin or either it's content or you know ways we can utilize it better uh things we could add to it they can drop us a line at let's play at greenrunning.com uh, that's right and give us their thoughts uh about that uh, we will gladly take those thoughts out of their brains and uh utilize them that's right for our nefarious and, purposes and either steal them for ourselves and uh, uh or abscond with them to sell on the ideas black market mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes as we are often want to oh, do. The marketplace of ideas has become very competitive. <laughs> That's where Crystal bought That's me. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. A great deal, too. A real great deal. I was a rescue. Um, it was great. Mm -hmm. True. <laughs> it took, a, took her a while to get you to come around, but, you know, mm -hmm. little TLC. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, uh, so 
one of the things that we talked about a little earlier is um, I love I live for the riff. Troy listening to any rock songs, guitar. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I love a good. Uh, what do they call that? An axe solo? Is that it? What rock and rollers say? I mean, a guitar no. is an axe. I don't. I don't think I've ever heard of an axe solo before. <laughs> you, you know, Alex, you're not as close to the hip, cool kids as I am. Look, um, okay. <laughs> I had a moment this weekend with my sister and my little brother, and both of them were saying words, and I was like, I don't know what that means. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Am I an old? I love that. Yeah, sometimes you, something pops up on the internet, and because of the context, you're like, I know that that's not nice, but I can't, I don't know what it is, so I'm not offended mm. <laughs> yet. <laughs> I'll come back to you, internet citizen. Uh, Karsh the Goblin says, hey, fellow kids. Hi, hello, fellow um, kids. Oh, there we go. Oh, I Pope's love Karsh the Goblin. Karsh the Goblin runs uh, Goblin Cave TV over on Twitch. Hey, yes, nice. We're fans for sure. Oh, Pope is helping. I believe the proper term is now shredding the wooden shape. Mm. I think that's nice. a different activity. Mm. Is it? Mm. Let me look that up. On the internet, not sure. It depends on what the kids are calling it these days. So. Uh, let's see. Uh, Glenn Cannon and the Damage Done has a new song out, but yes, it's a guitar. So, okay, good, good. Um, I'll, I'll check that out, Nate. Thank you so much. And uh, um, here's what I was going to say. Uh, we talked earlier this morning about, and I'm curious at just what the chat says. I said, "Hey, what if we talked about cosplay?" Mm. And C was like, well, you know, uh, cosplay is fun. <laughs> That's about great. all we cosplay know. Cosplay great. I have no aptitude for it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I want to see people doing cosplay of mutants and masterminds characters. I, I'm heroes and things. Um, Troy's never going to open anything Pope mentions on. I know. I'm. Yeah, <laughs> I won't. Thank you. Uh, RC offers a warning against any files Very that wise. Pope may send. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I learned my lesson long ago. Oh, happy pre-birthday, Nate. Yeah. Nice. That's this Wednesday. Nate Robbins is going to be 51 years old. Uh, happy birthday, friend. I'm glad uh, cosplay, costume play is, you know, where you wear a costume and you play some games. No, it just, you have some fun. And, and I, I really want to see somebody, gentlemen, what would be the hero and or villain or, you know, something that you would love to see kind of hanging out at a convention? Which uh, is your, you know, go ahead. I will I, never pass up an opportunity to say hello to Hades. I was just going to say, see, Alex is going to say Hades. <laughs> Clearly you have to go as the WTF. <laughs> right. That is that's a, that's a no. team costume. It is. Right. It really is. No. Yeah. But if somebody came up as Hades with a contract, I would sign it. And that would be, mm-hmm. the, that would be the beginning of my Isekai adventure. Right. Yeah, exactly. I, I love that. Um, let's see a uh, couple quick questions here. Um, Square asks, uh, how do you handle other stuff like DC Adventures? They're scrubbed from the website or deleted entirely? They are. Um, yeah. So for folks uh, who aren't aware, um, back when we had the license to do DC Adventures, we did have a few free samples of content from that, including a quick start for DC Adventures. In fact, I think we had two quick starts um, up on Free Ronin. But our contract with DC specifies that we are not allowed to distribute DC content, including free stuff, uh, once our license expired. So um, that stuff is all uh, digital dust in the wind. Uh, So if you should happen to come across it on the internet, I cannot tell you that you are allowed in any way, shape, or form to download or save it. Uh, But as folks have Noted, the internet never forgets, and the way machine is way back machine is forever, and neither do we. Um, Claude says, uh, uh, "Would love to see an Arctic fox cosplay in the wild." Uh, I would like wait, a picture of Alex with someone doing an Arctic me fox too. cosplay. I would probably mm-hmm. weep openly <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> if that happened. Well, hold your horses for Gen Con. It's Troy as Arctic fox. Uh, Beautiful. Um, here's a question. Uh, Steve Jonesy says, my bingo card had Arctic Fox. Nice. Um, Oranon says, fun coincidence about the costume thing. I just got a new jacket to wear when I play uh, Tachyon. It's, uh, of course, we're talking about your character, Oranon, that we touched on for the drafting table. Um, it's not a costume per se, just a jacket that exactly matches the color. I kind of like that idea of sort of wearing a thing that puts you into the spirit of the character mm-hmm. you're playing. Mm-hmm. Um 
definitely love that. Uh, you know, it is, uh, uh, I can't stop thinking, um, David Bodie talked about using one of those T-Rex blow up costumes and sort of, uh, augmenting it in a way so that you could use it as the WTF. Yeah. You could do a great Cerberus <laughs> Rex with one of those too, just attach oh, you yes. know, some hardware to it. Yes, absolutely. You know, go, um, go around you know, talking about your nefarious plans. That is so fun. I love that. What would be the most difficult um, uh, hero and or villain to uh, to cosplay? I mean, not just like because they're invisible. I mean, like that's the, the mega mind, <laughs> right? The mega mind, the meta mind. Yeah, oh, that, would, just... that would also be a team costume of some kind. Mm -hmm. And of course, you need like you know five tons of Jello. Oh, here's some really good advice. Karsh the Goblin says, just remember to plan your cosplay for the season of the event you're going to wear it at. That is mm. really, yeah, both yes. hot and cold. Yeah. Yes. Deuce, because... you just touched my heart. <laughs> Deuce, like, is, uh, no, Deuce is referring to the character I play in City of Destiny. Our, uh, uh, blue our jeans Emerald and a welding Knights, mask. Uh, Emerald City Knights playthrough. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of what uh, what there's one piece of art that I love that I mm -hmm. want to dress up as, and I actually bought a onesie that looks sort of like it, but it's it's the it's that villain. I have it here somewhere. I don't want to dig around for it because I'm just not in the space. Um, but it's a uh, it's a I think it's a minion or it's a you know it's a kind of low level and it's a, a guy who's dressed up in. Um, like black clothes with ske white skeleton imprint all over the top of it. Mm -hmm. and, and he's holding mm -hmm. a knife. And I think, uh, it's the art type illustration for, um, the, uh, the psycho, the psycho. Thank you. The psycho. That's yeah, that's it. Yep. I think, but it just, it creeps me out so much. Just thinking of, you know, uh, walking, walking, you know, going trick or treating and seeing this, that creature, you know, kind of right. doing its thing. Um, kind I of want Troy me... to play the rubber bandit in the game sometime. I could see it, right? Mm -hmm. The rubber bandit. The yeah. rubber bandit. What is the rubber bandit? He's stretchy and steals things, right? Just what, it, just what the name says. It's ah, very straightforward. I see. <laughs> it really is. Um, I am uh, intrigued. What, what is the costume? Uh, it's kind of a black spandex um, super villain costume. I think it's got well, his hair out too. I let me. Yeah. What book? I think it's an opportunity it. to you know dress him up in rubber. So. Yeah. Well, you know, and um, everybody in chat, dream come true. I'm, I'm, I'm presuming. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Are on, They know? say that you would be a great rubber bandit. Right. Nice, thank you. Assuming Troy is in invisible all the time. Yeah. Uh, let's see. That's no spider. Rubber Bandit actually predates Troy's uh, joining us here at Green Ronin. So. Yeah. So I'm looking at the. I found the artist website that I love doing this. Let's see. This is uh, one moment while I pull up the share. Do 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 do. do. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, let me. Um... Sorry, I'm trying to make this a little easier to see. Mm -hmm. There we go. I love that. Or an Troy is invisible when he's contained in something like a rubber suit. So yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not. Yeah, you got to kind of have some pressure. I have uh, Raymond says I have a way to make Troy visible. Sus Troy into a suit like yep. DC's Captain Adam. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Um, just fill him. We can be like a balloon. Exactly. I just, um, I just shared him on Slack for you, Troy, if you need to take a look. Thank you. No, I see him. I'm just trying to get him out of this other, you know, you know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, try to live, try to survive. Um, there we go. I found it. I found out what was going on. Um, I could do this. I could absolutely do this. It is, uh, it's a we, good look. We have faith in you, Troy. Right? There you go. Yeah. That's not a bad look. No, I know, right? It's like signing to Tumblr. I'm like, nope, <laughs> nope. <laughs> not on a public <laughs> forum, so Troy. And not, yeah, right. No, thank you. <laughs> Troy is tall um, as hell in real life too, so it's a perfect costume. Right. So I am. It, yeah. It, it'll, yeah. It'll, and I people have... will be like, "Are you stretching?" No, I'm actually this tall. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 
Uh, let's see, Gen Con 2023 cosplay contest. Mm-hmm. I, honestly, N- Nicole, that is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we should start making up, some, making some noise. And um, I'm not sure I'm sold on um, the Rubber Bandit. Uh, I like the Rubber Bandit idea, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, if the two of you now, Steve, I think you've you've dressed. Oh, I you you have done a cosplay exactly once. I have in your done life. cosplay exactly once. Uh, I I dressed as Captain America uh, for uh, FlameCon uh, several years ago. <laughs> right, and the and reporter thought you were giving him the and business. My right. partner Christopher dressed as the Winter Soldier because it's the perfect couple's costume. That is mm-hmm. awesome. Alex, you um, you cosplayed as a president of the United States, if I remember correctly. I I performed as an insane person who thought he was Teddy Roosevelt in a stage play before. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm close. <laughs> <laughs> I played have Teddy in Arsenic and Old Lace. Uh, fun. Awesome. Um, and you have uh, have you done any cosplay in your life? Uh, I have not. It's something that I've always been interested in. Um, but I just. I lack physical dexterity. I have trouble making things with my hands. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm no Commer- seamster. Commercial either. costuming has definitely brought cosplay to the masses a bit more widely for those of us who are not good at making costumes. You know, one of the things I love about um, cosplay, though, is that there is a, an accepted and encouraged sort of, oh, look at you. Um, uh, you are wearing a coffee can and some saran wrap. You must be something, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, It's so fun to kind of think of that stuff and how we might be able to to do it. But it is, uh, yeah, there's, a, there's some amazing cosplay out there. The bar is definitely high. I have cosplayed as Clark Kent before. I have done that. There okay. Now, who would you be from the Eminem universe? Um, hmm. I would like to be dataless, but I'm a little too Hungarian <laughs> for that. Um, <laughs> oh, Greece, oh. Hungary, they're pretty close, right? So here's the challenge I give as we get into the waning moments of the program. And thanks, everyone, for hanging in there with us and for suffering my COVID brain. Um, uh, be sure to go over to freeronin.com and check that stuff out and send us a message at let's play at greenronin.com and uh, uh, thoughts and questions, um, uh, home remedies for COVID. No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Um, and anything that uh, that's on your mind. And uh, we will tackle that. But for you two, um, I think we should noodle on um, what kind of sort of cosplay contest or something that we can do for the upcoming uh, season of, of conventions. And we're going. There's going to be a lot going on. Uh, I would love to see that. I, I'd like to think about what a good prize would be. Um, mm. Something, you know, I don't know. Uh, something fun like hanging out with the team, um, you know, at Gen Con. <laughs> what a great prize. Um, yeah, yeah. Claude, submit some ideas for free running. Uh, that would be great. Mm-hmm. Um, get that horse paste, Troy. It's a miracle cure. Um, yeah. I think uh, anything related to free running, please email to let's play at greenrunning.com. Indeed. Yeah, I hope I said Indeed. that. Did I say that? Okay. We um, did mention that. And please do not take medical advice from our book. Or the chat in any way. <laughs> or yeah. the chat yeah. in general. Oh, a cheese-based prize. Well, that would be hmm. very on 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 brand for us. It would be. Yeah. We are okay. largely cheese-based um, organisms. So Yeah, absolutely. And cheese motivated as well. Right, indeed. Um, I'd be happy yeah, to run like a game for people who cosplayed green running stuff at Gen Con if they wanted right? to participate. That'd be fun. That'd be pretty cool. Wait, Claude's gonna be at ECCC. C yeah. E C C C. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. R C. That'll be good. It'll be good to see you at Gen Con, Claude. Uh, I'm in Seattle, so we right. ought to uh, we ought to um, connect and talk and uh, meet up. Uh, that'd be would be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. Oh no, Sean Vieira is going to be missing Gen Con this year. Oh, I'm sorry um, about that, Sean. David uh, says that they usually bring offerings of cheese for just that reason. It's very it's, smart. It's always wise. Mm-hmm. You never yeah. know when that's going to come in handy. That's right. A pocket full of cheese never got anyone in trouble. Wow. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, listen to Ornan says um, maybe the prize could be getting added to um, 
our content, our, our stuff as a character, like, you mm -hmm. know, as canon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, EC, C, C is Emerald City Comic Con. That would yeah. that would suggest people cosplaying as original characters, possibly rather than oh yeah our existing characters. If they want to add a character, you know, to Earth Prime. Yeah, yeah, I like the idea, and I've always wanted to fire someone out of a cannon. Claude, right. just uh, Claude, you just gave me an idea for the actual play that will feature custom characters that we want to do. <laughs> nice. Okay. So, well, there you go. The, yeah, the people who wanted an adventure, they could bring their own characters. A battle royale where they're fighting to enter canon would be really cool. Mm. I love that. All right, I mean, so here's that's the how task. characters Kevin. get out of comic book limbo, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like a Kumite. Welcome yeah, to the Mojo exactly. verse. Right? Um, so here's the thing. If you can't attend uh, a convention or, you know, or if you aren't able to sort of, uh, if you're you know, in another country or whatever, you know, you should probably think about what kind of cosplay you'd like to do, because I think we could do sort of a, 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 a both digital and in-person, you know, contest of some sort. Um, and I, I think it'd be a lot of fun. And I think we've all acknowledged that there's a lot of people who aren't able to go to conventions. And so mm -hmm. we'll find mm -hmm. a way to, to keep inclusive. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that the, the mission for chat is to think about a mutants and masterminds hero and or villain uh, or being, I'll just say whatever. And, um, and how would you cosplay that? Uh, you know, and, and let's talk about it. Let's, uh, you know, share some thoughts to, on the, uh, YouTube, uh, thread for this video. Uh, you can, uh, yeah, send us some ideas or thoughts or questions that you might have about, um, you know, some heroes or villains, um, and what they may look like or be made of, um, and uh, yeah, I really want to see this. I really want to see it happen. Uh, Hope says, obviously, I dumped several jars of gravy on myself. Please not do not approach me if you do that. No, exactly. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh, just this earnest hope. Yes. With arms a stretched. All, for of a... The, all of the gravy-based handshakes and hugs should go right to Troy. <laughs> Gross. I feel faint. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Pope says, oh, my God, I've got my cosplay, the Grabo Squatch. I think it's Grabo Squatch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nicole says there's <laughs> a strict no gravy rule at our booth. Yeah, it conflicts with the cheese, really. Yeah, um, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Sorry, friends. I mean, no poutine. Queso. Or poutine, I mean. Oh, Cheese-based gravy. That, it is. It is, Steve. Oh, so, you know, there is a queso squatch. New fear unlocked. <laughs> uh, fear of deliciousness um okay so let's do this um let's put me out of my misery let's end the program <laughs> for today but i want to say this uh steve what have you got cooking anything to share well speaking of cosplay um i just uh released over on a, my own patreon um the house of decks uh a short um ostensibly icons but essentially uh system agnostic uh, piece about uh, a uh, uh, super costume fashion designer house um, that may or may not be run by a cosmic being um, that's interested in providing uh, fabulous costumes uh, to people uh, in need of them, which may, which also may or may not grant some people superpowers um, that uh, folks can check out. Uh, it's uh, got some fabulous artwork by uh dan hauser uh and uh can be had by the low low cost of just joining the patreon nice awesome um alex what have you got cooking um well i just did my first recording for our new mutants and masterminds podcast that we're going to be doing over at the untold stories project heroes of tomorrow uh in which i am playing a teddy bear dr jekyll who is a member of the new next gen at the Claremont Academy. And I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. about nice. Okay. I can't wait to see that unfold and they can find uh, folks can seek and find information at, um, do you, what, what is your preferred uh, URL? Untold uh, story. Untold stories, project.com. Yeah. Nice. We're, we're finally doing audio only uh, production for mutants and masterminds. Uh, it will be, I don't have the URL for it now, but it'll be on the same RSS feed as our something, something dragons mm. podcast that we did. Nice. Um, like an, an you know, radio play. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah it's um, Dr. Henry so... Barrister and Eddie Bear are the uh, two. And um, Eddie Bear. Alter egos. And Eddie Bear is a real nasty piece of work, I tell you what. I can barely contain my excitement. Um, you know what else I'm excited about? What's that? There is there is a um, a podcast called Masks and Mayhem. Are you familiar? Mm, I'm familiar. It's kind of a big deal. Uh, they are celebrating their five years. And I was so excited to hear that. And you're doing a podcast for... Um, Five years and mm-hmm. a regular basis. That is a commitment. A lot of work. Um, yeah. And to do such a great podcast is uh, doubly difficult. That's, of course, our friends RC. We've got uh, Rachel Amber Bloom. And um, we've also got, uh, let's see, Sama. And that these folks, um, I'm going to say congratulations for five years, but we're going to interview them. They're going to hop on. We're going to have a chat. I'm going to be feverish and covid it's going to be a delight but i just wanted to make sure to say congratulations to you folks i really appreciate that now are you doing some kind of a podcast are you doing some kind of a a live stream some kind of a art installation um are you in any way doing something adjacent to mutants and masterminds let us know let's play at green ronin.com is your place to send that kind of information send us pictures let us talk mm-hmm. about review are you gearing up to do something and you're going to release it let us know and we'll be happy to help the disembodied yeah. Troy loves to collect all of those things and put them in little jars in his lair. I do. I do. All uh, of and then also, the you, things. Yeah, there you should see my my uh, wall of jars. Actually, that is so fun. I think I'm going to do something like that. Uh, Just don't put any squeakers in them if you're making them, guys. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, yeah, don't, uh, I'm not sure what a squeaker is, but um, let's see. You bring gravy-like quality to the podcast, Pope. Yes, you do, Pope. You do indeed. With that, friends, I say thank you for hanging. Uh, thank you, for, uh, gentlemen, for suffering my brain. Uh, mm-hmm. We'll be back. Are we back next Monday? Yeah, we're back next mm-hmm. Monday. And, um, yep, it'll be great. It'll be swell. And we will see you all then. Until then, have a great week. Goodbye. Bye, Take care.